Mr. Sairam, hearty congratulations on securing All India Rank 1515 in Electrical Branch of Engineering in GATE 2022. Thank you, sir. Yeah. Sairam, it's a very proud moment for all of us. Uh, it seems you have taken a classroom coaching from AC Academy from our Hyderabad uh, Code Police Center. And also you have taken uh, engineering services uh, mains coaching also. You have taken gate coaching as well as mains coaching, classroom coaching. Yes, sir. Yeah. Uh, Sairam, please tell us how this Yes Academy classroom coaching was helpful to you in, in the preparation as well as in the securing such a All India Rank 15 in the gate exam. Uh, sir, uh, initially, while I started preparation for my gate examination, uh, uh, the AS Engineering Academy classes helped me to build uh, the basic concepts and the classroom notes has helped me to revise the concepts uh, uh, and uh, to and to build the concepts strongly. Right. Uh, Sairam, while attending the classes, you might have taken the full length notes right from the lectures. Uh, apart from this full length notes, did you prepare any short notes further? Yes, sir. Uh, for each subject, I have prepared my own short notes. Uh, so I have uh, a problem while remembering some concepts. So uh, wherever I am facing difficulties, uh, I will be writing those in my short notes. And uh, wherever I am very, uh, those concepts which are easy for me, I just uh, skip those. And those which are difficult for me, I use it to write them in my short notes. OK. So you are preparing for engineering service also simultaneously. Yes, sir. Uh, uh, so in 2020, I started uh, my preparation from engineering services 2020 and 2021 also. Okay. Uh, Sairam, uh, which college are you from? Uh, sir, I'm, I did my BTEC from uh, JNTU Hyderabad. So JNTU Hyderabad, right? So yes. when did you pass out, Sairam? Sir, uh, I completed my BTEC in 2019. 2019. Then what have you been doing since then? So then after my BTEC, uh, uh, I prepared for engineering services and GATE 2020. Uh, I took one year time in between and started preparing for engineering services and GATE. And in GATE 2020, I got a 791 uh, rank. So from that, I joined uh, uh, in MTech in IIT Karakpur. And uh, simultaneously, I started uh, uh, doing MTech and uh, prepared engineering services. This year, uh, in GATE 2020, I got good ranks. OK. Uh, Mr. Sairam, so from this discussion, what I understand is mainly because you are already doing MTech from IIT Karagpur, so your main focus is uh, engineering services, right? Yes, sir. So at the same time, the, whatever the preparation that you used for engineering services, the same preparation I used to appear this GATE 2022 also. Yes, sir. It helped me a lot, sir, because I was continuously preparing for engineering services 2020 and 2021. So it, it didn't take much time for me to revise the concepts because uh, those concepts are uh, in my mind. So I just uh, solved numerical sums for GATE 2022 and you, I just uh, uh, attended the test series. Right. So it didn't take much time for uh, brushing up my concepts. Okay. That's finally you got All India 15th rank because this 15th rank is very good. In case if you get some, uh, what you call, uh, if you are lucky to, lucky to get engineering services, well and good. In case otherwise also, you may get good campus placements. Otherwise also with this get 15th rank, you may get some good PSU job also. Yes. Sir. Yeah, you have multiple opportunities now, right? Multiple yes. opportunities you have with you. Okay. Good, uh, Sairam. I think uh, we had a very good uh, journey in the preparation for this uh, comp examination. You are highly successful in the gate examination and you gave even mains also. Uh, please tell us, uh, with respect to your electrical branch of engineering, how your students should uh, approach while preparing for this gate examination? Can you add some points here? What will be the appropriate and ideal strategy while preparing for this electrical syllabus? Uh, sir, basically, one should be strong enough in building up their uh, concepts. Uh, so once you are good enough with your concepts, uh, we need to uh, solve more numerical sums to achieve good rank in GATE. 
and uh, while solving questions uh, in test series you should have a look on your accuracy your accuracy levels are most important when you want to get a good rank in gate uh, so if your accuracy is bad uh, you will end up in uh, getting negative marks and you also lose some uh, marks which uh, those questions even if you solve them but if your accuracy is not good you will not get those marks and even you will be ended up getting negative marks so according to me i think that accuracy plays an important role and uh, in gate previous years when i wrote gate 2020 my accuracy was not that good so i didn't i ended up getting rank about a 790 something so this year i just uh, focused on improving my accuracy so i have improved my accuracy and uh, ended up in getting a good rank okay sairam that is absolutely true uh, to crack this gate like examination one needs to have accuracy as well as the time management uh, and all so can you please uh, tell your juniors so how to improve that accuracy while solving this numerical problems sir uh, basically while solving uh, questions uh, in the previous uh, gate examinations i just uh, 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 solved those questions roughly but uh, this year i started solving them in a manner such like uh, i have solved i have taken a paper and i have solved 10 questions and i have boxed each question there like that in a proper way i have uh, 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 solved those questions and uh, here uh, mark for review plays an important role sir because uh, while uh, doing calculations uh, you will be ended up getting in wrong calculations there you will be using your marks so uh, some questions where calculations are heavy so i just marked them from for review and after solving all those questions i just came back to the questions where calculations are more and i just again uh, looked to that whether my calculations are correct or not so uh, that mark for review uh, option is important in improving the accuracy yeah that is a good suggestion saira good suggestion and also to maintain this accuracy as you said uh, we have to work out the problems neatly as if you are taking the real examination that is one point right and another point is yes. you need to have a good uh, exposure how to use that virtual calculator also to improve the accuracy so in our case yes sir yes uh, what was your approach in using that virtual calculator Uh, sir uh, most, i have seen most of the students uh, while solving test series uh, they will be using virtual calculator in their mobile phones so what i did is while writing the test series i just uh, used the calculator which is available in the uh, uh, available on the screen itself so in that way i get familiarized with the virtual calculator and uh, uh, by practice itself we will be getting uh, uh, we will be getting how to use that uh, if by more practice we'll, we can uh, do calculations more fastly Yes, yes. That is. Errors, the calculations can be done. Yeah, good. Sairam, actually, uh, while doing MTech, uh, that in IIT is uh, getting time for preparation of other exams is uh, somewhat difficult. So, how could you manage this in your case? Uh, sir, uh, in the first year of my MTech, uh, it is a very hectic schedule. Uh, I can't manage my time, so I just uh, didn't uh, prepare for my GATE 2021 exam because of this reason. I could not manage my time. I just prepared for ESE 2020 parallelly with my uh, curriculum with MTech first year. Uh, but after first year, in second year, you will be getting uh, enough time because uh, in second year you will be having only project. Uh, apart from project, you will not be having any other theoretical classes or uh, labs. So. Uh, even uh, by doing uh, your mtech you will be getting some uh, around 6 uh, hours of time daily uh, so i think in second year it will be easy for uh, guys who are doing mtech uh, to crack the other examinations yes that is absolutely true sir i think uh, those students who are already doing mtech those who want to give the other exams like mr sai uh, i think uh, this will be a useful point for them to observe right uh, Uh, Mr. Sairam, in electrical, there are many subjects, right? Uh, while preparing, uh, did you follow any particular sequence? Otherwise, randomly you have prepared. Uh, sir, uh, uh, there are some subjects for each individual uh, where they can feel comfortable, and there are some subjects uh, where they will not be feeling comfortable. So, in my case, I am good in power electronics, power systems, and machines, which are the core part of uh, the electrical engineering. And uh, I have some, I have put extra efforts on subjects like uh, signal science systems, where I am not very much good. So, and uh, EMF. So, in those kind of subjects, I have uh, put my extra time and extra efforts. So. 
it depends on individual uh, so uh, whether uh, they are uh, good in so they are good in some subjects and uh, they are not good in other subjects so it is better to uh, give more time for subjects where uh, they are not good in right okay right the individual has to choose right depending upon their choice uh, mr sairam when you attended our uh, classroom coaching in hyderabad yes right uh, did you uh, did you attend all those classes completely yes sir i uh, have att- attended all the classes okay. and uh, uh, what what is, what is your feedback on our uh, classroom coaching when you took in hyderabad yes sir excellent sir they are excellent and uh, uh, they are punctual and one should uh, attend those classes seriously because i have seen most of the students are not serious while uh, uh, attending those uh, classroom coaching but uh, if one is uh, very serious in attending those classes and if one follows uh, the test series uh, cracking a great rank is uh, not big deal okay that's good sairam sairam for a serious student who wants to crack this gate examination uh, in your view how many months of preparation is required Uh, sir uh, if we are uh, starting uh, without if you are starting from basic concepts then i think uh, for concept for building concepts itself it requires 6 months of time and then after for rigorous practice uh, two more months of time is required but for those who already have uh, uh, the basics and all those uh, stuff they can have they it it it, it can take about 3 months of time uh, entirely to practice questions so that they can crack 3 yes, months of time is, is uh, if, sufficient i think yes yes so depending upon the background of the student so this amount of uh, optimum time required to crack the examination will be varying right yes one sir definitely generalize this one right okay that's good point uh, uh, saira uh, on the day of a gate examination the three or so times 65 questions were there did you follow any sequence uh, in attempting those questions otherwise you went on as per the sequence what you have seen in the a uh, paper a uh, sir uh, we will be having two sections uh, the core one another one is aptitude one so uh, aptitude. i started with uh, the core part so i started solving each and every question and uh, those questions were uh, i think uh, that i should again look upon then i marked them so i can have a review of those questions and i started solving this core part uh, once i am finished Uh, so in the first round uh, there are some questions like uh, i should think I, or uh, that it should it, it will be taking more time so i just left those questions in the first in the first round and i have uh, solved all the questions in the core part then i went to the uh, aptitude part and i have solved i didn't uh, face any difficulty in solving the aptitude questions so i have uh, solved uh, all the aptitude questions then came back to the core part uh, so in the second uh, run uh, just i focused more on the questions uh, uh, where uh, i think uh, uh, conceptually they are good or uh, it should take more time so uh, that's it. that's all sir in two attempts i have finished the core part so the time was it sufficient for you to solve all the questions yes sir uh, it is uh, sufficient uh, sir uh, the time management uh, it is very important and it comes uh, from the practice from the test series sir. yes yes i do agree with you the time management accuracy these are the two important uh, points the more and more you practice the more and more you get the advantage on these two aspects right right yes. okay sairam uh, with your experience what you had so far in this comp examinations uh, do you want to share some more tips to your juniors those who want to prepare for this gate examination yes sir uh, so uh, the main uh, po- main point in cracking any exam is uh, the confidence and the self belief you should have uh, self belief on yourself that you can crack this exam so that is uh, one point uh, and the other is uh, you should uh, uh, have uh, that uh, determination to uh, crack the examination and uh, you should be determined you should this sir there will be at, at a point there are uh, there will be some fluctuations like uh, you will be uh, not you will be fluctuating from your aim but you should focus uh, that we should crack this examination that determination you will be getting and uh, confidence uh, so if you write while writing your test series uh, it will you will while starting at the start of your uh, test series you will not be getting good results so at that point of time you should not lose your confidence so by writing those test series gradually your marks will be improving and you will be getting good results and by that your confidence will be increased 
and in the final exam you will be ending, you will be writing the final exam with a very good uh, um, mindset yes yes that is absolutely true mr sairam right okay uh, sairam thank you so much for joining us and sharing your valuable thoughts uh, through this uh, uh, video i hope uh, the points what you have discussed here will be definitely useful to your uh, juniors right i once again congratulate you and wish you all good luck in all your future endeavors thank you sir. god bless you sairam god bless you